Fox 40 is team coverage of the dangerous weather and those road conditions. Fox 40's Gene Nguyen is live in Pollock Pines with more on how drivers are dealing with those highway closures. Then the Shanahan in the Weather Center tonight with a closer look at how long the storm will last. All right, we're going to talk to both of them. But first, let's get you over to Fox 40's Rowena Shaddix live in Applegate where residents and businesses there are still in the dark. Row. That is correct, Eric and Nikki. It is just a mess out here. Now, right now, it is not snowing, but we are at the Applegate exit. This is where traffic is being stopped and turned around. You can see there is a long line of cars that are moving up to this exit here on Applegate being turned around by Caltrans and you could also see truckers at a distance. Now many of them have been there f actually for a couple of nights since the freeway was closed. Now earlier we were up the road further east about eight miles in the city of Colfax. Things were a mess there as well as you mentioned lots of people without electricity. This is how they're dealing with it. Take a listen. Locals say they haven't seen this amount of snow in Colfax for more than 25 years. Heavy fat flakes dropped yesterday and through the night, causing power outages in the area along Old Auburn Road, forcing several businesses to close their doors. They say it's this tree which fell over several lines that cut off electricity. Out-of-towners had no choice but to stay another day after finding their cars blanketed in thick white powder. For now, hopefully, um, you know, in the next few days, I'll be able to get to my destination. I've never seen snow like this, and obviously my car is covered over there. I can't even back out, so that's, you just got to try to make the best of, you know, a bad situation. I live in Boise, so we, we, we will have snow like this now and then. But in Boise proper, we get snow, it lasts a day or two, sometimes a week or two, but it doesn't do this. Now, as we were leaving that Best Western, we did see a huge generator that was being delivered literally to their front door. So hopefully those customers there will soon be having electricity. Reporting live here from Applegate tonight, Rowena Shaddix, Fox 40 News.